everyone, my name is Lem Turner. I'm a brand evangelist here at Helium Tent. And in this video, we're gonna be getting into how to create barcode labels. So let's get started. First things first, we're gonna get into our portals tab here. We can see, we can click on portals right here and then click on the left side of our screen. Go to our dashboard here. We're gonna click on barcode labels. Boom, there we go, we're in the system. From there, we're gonna click on new barcode. Now, we're gonna click on new barcode, but overall, Let's first discuss what are barcode labels and what's the purpose of this tool? Well, it's really all about making sure that you can create a custom barcode label for your own product. Now that's really nice because we can make sure that we create a custom barcode label for our product. So we're gonna do the Manny's Mysterious Oddities shelf here, our coffin shelf here. We're gonna copy this URL. And right here, we're gonna put in like a random UPC code here. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four random UPC code, but we can copy and paste our URL into here and it'll, it'll populate that information for us. Well, one thing we definitely want to note here is when you do put in a barcode, whether it's, I mean, it's whether it's a barcode, UPC, FNSQ, whatever it is, you want to make sure you test this out. And the way you test it out is by downloading an app. There's several apps out there where you can use QR reader, QR scanner, or any barcode scanner really, and use that to scan the barcode on your screen and use your smartphone. If when you do that, it should populate the proper figures, whether it's the FNSQ, the UPC, whatever it is, and it should show you the proper figures. We highly, highly recommend you do this before moving forward in the process. But once you do get that going, you're going to have the product image here. For some reason, it's just it's just delayed there. But you're going to have the product image here. You can put in your SKU here as well. You have your ASIN. You have condition, where it's made from. You can click on save and continue. Actually, before we even do that, before you get in product details, here's where we can edit the product name if we want to, right? We can make sure that we want to make sure that whatever the product name is here, that that's all it says in our uh barcode label so that's what's really important is that's what's nice about us being able to edit this stuff so like let's say let's just leave it as is but we can go back and show you what it looks like if we were to edit it right so let's look on save and continue we can choose our the we have the preview here what it would look like we have the dimensions we can do three by two depending on your packaging or your custom packaging whatever it looks like you can have it be as small as two inches by one inch but we're going to stick with like just like a five by three we're gonna look at in portrait mode. You can show it centimeters, millimeters, however you do your packaging. It's totally customizable and totally up to you and how you wanna run your business. So let's go ahead and save and continue. We can choose from all these different templates here. We can choose from the modern template. This is what it looks like. Choose them. We have the fancy template. Look at that sunset. Ooh, have this. This is literally called sunset. <laughs> so that's like aesthetic sunset. That's like actual sunset. Love it. So let's choose this one. I like this one. This one looked good. Let's choose this one. We're gonna choose that one. Here we have our logo in here. You can upload your logo uh, within your settings tab right here. We'll definitely get into that in a separate video if you wanna check that out. But here we have our logo here. We have the UPC that we put, put in here. We have our title, but hey, let's say I don't like this. I don't like that it truncates here. I can go ahead and change that right here. So let me go ahead. I don't want it to say new. I just wanted to say, well, actually, no, I want to say Man Manny's Mysterious, but I just want to say, maybe I wanted to say just Manny's Coffin Shelf. I just want to say Manny's Coffin Shelf. Go ahead and edit that information. I can do it here, which you can see is taking me a little bit because I got to delete information. Or I can go back to the product details and edit it here. So let's say I just wanted to say Manny's Coffin Shelf. Black. Let's say I'm Manny's Black Coffin Shelf. Boom, there we go. So I want to delete all that rest of that information. I click on Save and Continue. I go with that, I go with that, I'm st stick with that. Boom, Manny's Black Coffin Shelf. You see, that's all it says right there. Made in China. We have our barcode right there. We have many serious oddities. We can edit this information or edit to however we think fits our branding. We can choose our, if we have a specific color tone that's specific for our brand. Like, let's say for some reason that's the color for our brand. We can change it to that point. We can change the transparency if we want that to be. We can do we can do color. We can do gradient. 
you can do have it be gradient for horizontal or vertical totally up to you whatever your your vibe is you can have a image that you contribute or you can have our image you contribute here and you can when we populate a listing it takes the images from our listing so we have these images here it totally it depends on your product if it makes sense here it's not going to make sense to put that in our label but let's like pretend that it does make sense this is what it would look like it'd be in the background there so of course obviously in this scenario it doesn't make sense but it might make sense for your product right then we have the images that pretty much anybody can use uh that has access to this tool um, you can see that this is showing you a preview of the image here you can have this there totally up to you but we're just going to go with a stick with the color probably going to keep it let's keep stick with the white vibe there boom i like that so that yeah there that's all there is to it you can go ahead save and finish and once you do save and finish that you can go ahead and look at that you can download that image this is where we could give you another recommendation that you want to test out your barcode before you make sure that it is. But once you have it ready and you're ready to download it, you can click on download. It'll be ready for you. You can open it up. Boom, there it is, opened up, looking good and fresh. You can send that to your manufacturer, your supplier, whoever takes care of your packaging for you, and they can manage that process for you right there and put that onto your packaging. So boom, there it is. That's how you create a custom barcode label that can look clean, pristine, and all about your business. So we'll see you on the next video and let us know if you have any questions.